it's so good. This is Anetta. Hi, I'm Anetta. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. I'm Tasha. And, and I'm, this is my I'm Becky. Be Yay! Yeah, Becky's visiting us from Virginia. Because yep. we went to the Kentucky Sheep and Wolf Festival today. Today was the first day. And strangely enough, it wasn't raining. Yay. Mm. Um, it was a little, got a little warm a little once warm. the sun started to come out. Yeah. But all in all, fabulous weather. I yeah. take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could have been rain last year. <laughs> so much <laughs> worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poured the rain last year. And then. It's poured rain all week. Oh, yeah. Well, so, yeah. yeah. And previous years, it's been hotter than blue blazes. So today was, was pretty decent. It was really nice. It was a great turnout. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of people there, which is always exciting to see because I always want all the vendors to do uh, do well. So, yeah. but it definitely, you know, it wasn't too crowded to shop. There was, no, I don't think there were any booths that I went into that I couldn't like maneuver, know, maneuver over yeah. to where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So, I think the longest wait I had was waiting for the uh, lemon shake up thing. Yeah. yeah, worth it. <laughs> Totes worth it. Worth it. Yeah. So. This is going to be a haul video. None of us filmed. We were uh, we were doing some shopping. I was just enjoying the day. Yeah. yeah. It's just a really nice day. I want to say hi to my Aunt Donna because she oh, met yeah. us up there. Yes. Yes. We yeah. saw Donna, Donna. We saw Georgia. Yeah. yeah. We did not see Suzanne or Candy. No, we saw Doreen. We did saw, see, saw Doreen. We did see Doreen. Mm -hmm. yeah. If, if y'all hear any noise, my dog is down here kind of whiny, so... Just let you know. <laughs> he needs some attention. Poor yeah. Ollie. Yeah. So, Becky, special yes. guest. Yes. You want to kick us off? Sure. All right. What'd you haul? Um, so, I'll start with the stuff on the table because I got... Ooh, and hold it. Okay. What? Did you did you have a plan mm. when you went in? What was your plan? <laughs> yeah, and what did you plan. get? So, I didn't really have a plan per se. I had a couple of ideas. And I didn't want to, the only thing I didn't want to do was buy single skeins yes. of soft weight yarn. Because I have a lot of that already. <laughs> Absolutely. I had to call her out once. You did call me I out once. I did call her out once. But I successfully I that's what I was supposed to do. did not buy any single skeins. Sorry. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry. Dog Sorry. jumped on the table. But I did buy a lot of notiony things first. So I probably went the whole way around before I bought any yarn. So mm -hmm. I was the last holdout. You did. Yeah, that's proud true. Of myself. We, were, we were like, is yeah. she going to buy yarn today? Yeah. So, I guess I'll start with this stuff. All right, so we I went to... I, I think you bought first. You did. But it was that no. fiber seed. Both of you both did. Of you, how you dare you? Yeah. yeah. Fiber seed and, right off the and your eyes. Said, how dare you? Well, I think she checked <laughs> out before me. <laughs> 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 okay, technically, I bought first. Yeah. So, yes. maybe did Donna go first, then? Nope, technically, no, I went first. Okay. Yes. So, when we walked in, we were like, we're just going to yeah. do... I think everybody says that. We're going to do a lap yeah. around. We're going to see no, what yes. they got. And Becky and I look over, and there's Ned and Lindsay ready to check out. Because it was fiber. <laughs> No, no, no. I wasn't ready to check out. I needed assistance. You, did. you all yes. assisted me. I, I did, did not assistance. need assistance. Yes. Needed all it was assistance. Fiber Seed who was right inside the we door. Knew we were getting and some we knew that. We had a yeah. plan to so, go there. And but it was sorry. still funny. Okay. Becky and I were like, well, they're down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back to Becky. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought a lot of notions. So the fit, like I uh, went to corn, cornbread and honey. Mm -hmm. So I got this really nice lotion bar, which is raspberry and black, black raspberry and vanilla. I almost it bought that. Very nice. nice. Smells. Did you, did you smell it? I did. It really I almost good. bought it. it yeah. Like summery. So it smells really good. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna throw it in my bag. And then they had a bunch of little notions. So I got these really cute. Needle toppers because I've stopped. Well, you got bats too. Because I don't have enough. I, I got the purple bats. bats and the llamas. The llama, llama. And these cute little scissors that I plan to take on the plane. Those are scissors? Yes. yes. <laughs> They're really cute. I wish I had I'd seen them. open them up to figure them yeah. out. Yeah. So. So the little things slide yes. up. Yes, they were really cute. And so hopefully TSA. I don't I think those are TSA approved. TSA approved. Yeah. So. Um, but that was a cute shop. They had some pretty yarn that I yep. made fall on the floor because they had a pyramid. But I resisted yeah. the urge there, so that was all. And that one shop was my notions. Awesome. And then my plan was I did want to get a candle from Solstice Fiber Company. Yep. I got this candle last year with some yarn. I've used it, and I want another one. So <laughs> let the yarn um, back. So they had them. They only had a few left. Yes. So I was happy. So that was my plan. Mm-hmm. 
check on the list of the plan. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <Mission accomplished. laughs> is there one new, thing on my candle. list that I had? Yes. New candle, check. Check. And then I've already forgotten the name of the place. You guys remember Deep it? Dyed Yards. Deep Dyed Yards. Deep yeah. Dyed Yards had all these cute pins. I can't tell which one's my favorite. Um, that one. So I have. <laughs> no. So we have this also one no. that says, I fall asleep to forensic files. That one. I definitely got called out on that one. Um, I'm a Labyrinth fan, mm -hmm. and then I'm weird. Everyone's weird. Everyone. And then this is my favorite. It says, am I perfect? No. But am I trying to be a better person? Also, also no. no. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> so, do you want me to go with all my yarn, too, or do you guys want to go with your notions? Oh, no, Did just go. Go? Just go. All right, because yeah. I got a lot. All right, let me put this away. Well, I don't have you a don't lot. have a lot. I don't have a lot. I, I do end any... up with a lot, though, None of this guy. I don't think any of yeah. us were overly, like, yarn piggy or anything. No. Yeah. We've so, done a whole lot more damage before. Well, this doesn't count because it's gift yarn. Oh, yep, doesn't count. I was a little gluttonous. <laughs> Just a little. But, but I didn't buy a fleece. That's true, it right? Could have yeah. been it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Always I could have made that. us all smell like sheep do for the whole <laughs> drive back. <laughs> but this is my first yarn purchase from Mode Knit Yarn. It's this little gradient in yellow. This is going to be the rosebud. Yes cardigan yes it's a baby net from my best friend's little baby girl evie oh, it's a you. free pattern, free pattern on the mm -hmm. and it's adorable yes. they had a little sample knit up it goes to at least 18 Precious. months i think yes yeah, i think so three to 18 yeah. months that would be and for... it's so cute i'm gonna knit it for laura uh -huh. baby uh -huh. yes yeah i'm, I'm gonna, gonna do the 12 month Lauren's. size probably yes. that's probably what i'll do is yeah. 12 months yeah so this doesn't count for me because it's not for me did you get a gradient and by the I'm way i love bold yellow for baby knits well and uh, my friend's favorite color is yellow so even better that's even better so like really that's why I bought that. colors of yeah. yellow. That was my first purchase. And I was like, it doesn't count. It's not mine. Nope. It's, it's a yarn. freebie. It's a freebie. And then I got, I wanted some DK, or not DK, I keep saying DK, uh, Merino Linen Blend. And I wanted some for a few summer tops. So this is Apothefairy. I've got a yellow trend, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. That's... I didn't realize that until I was no. like, oh, crap. It's <laughs> okay. So, that one's for you, though. This is for me. So it's a pop of fairy fabrications. It's Her a is amazing. linen merino. I don't mm. think she has colorway names because I don't see it on here. I don't. I think don't my gray that there. I got from her. I don't last think she does, years ago but it's names. really nice. I wanted something that was well, that's interesting. a little bit of interesting with the speckles, and I wouldn't get bored. So it's going to be a summer tea. Probably a Jessie made it because I have several of her. I like that yarn. Patterns in my library. So I think that's what that plan is. I probably won't cast that on this summer, mm -hmm. maybe next summer. She has a lot yeah. of really interesting bases that you don't see with a lot of yeah. hand yeah. dyers. Mm -hmm. She sources most of them from the U.S. when she can. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I love yeah. her yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did have a DK linen blend, but it was with alpaca, I think. So I wasn't... Yeah, it's going to be really hot. It was a bit warm, so I yeah. wanted something a bit lighter. Yeah. So. For a tea, cool. yeah. that's too hot. Yeah. yeah. So, and then... I knew I was going to buy some fiber seed, probably, like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the bomb. But I waited till the end. And and it was the last it. purchase that I made. I last had purchase of the day, I Of think. the day, yes. And my oh, no. came undone. But this it one, hurt. it's the DK Sprout base. And this is the Wonderlust colorway. Gosh, it's so fun. And I spotted this on our first go round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was like... I probably want that with two other skeins for a DK Wape Shawl. Um, so I got the I got these oh, two to go with it. Perfection. Oh my gosh, is that a purple? That's the yes. plum mm -hmm. or something. It's plum. plum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that color. And then ginger. So that's a perfect. This is gonna be the honey toasted honey toasted honey from Tammy Gore because I also own a lot of her patterns. Love it. Um, and I'm currently knitting the fiber seed I got last year from. <laughs> Kentucky <laughs> Shipping Wall in the Tammy Gore Milu shawl pattern. Oh, yeah. So that you get yourself my... locked in now. Now locked every time in. you come to a Kentucky Shipping Fiber, it's gonna have to be for a Tammy Gore shawl. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. And that was oh, it for me. Oh look at me Sorry. suffer. Oh, <laughs> it's what not a lot mine? of yarn. Your color, not... you do have a color theme. Yes. Because but even the color right. the other color in your linen matches, matches those. Well, yeah. the yeah. color of the bag that you were yeah. shopping this, this with reminds as well. me of yeah. like fall 
Yeah. So, yeah. So, we got a yeah. mustard bud. Yeah. I love it. So, that is yeah. all my stuff. I'm it. happy with it. Beautiful haul. Considering I didn't have much for play and I thought I'd buy. No. I'd go a little up. But see, I stuck with the no single. You did. Skeins. It was close. Yeah. I was close. There was that. There was one. I was like, I really like that. I was like, no single skeins. Yeah, I buy two. And the yak did almost yeah. get me. I think my aunt did the majority of that because she said, oh, that one just fell into my hand. Right. It's the last one on the shelf. Oh, that one just oh. fell in my hand. It was oh, the last well, one on the shelf. Maybe next year I'll get some yeah. of the yak. Oh. <laughs> yeah. From Lola did it. Yeah. yeah. Cause Cause I do like it. It was really nice. Okay. Do we go next? That was me. Okay. Well, since I made the first purchase of the day. Right. Um, And I have to pull up the name of the pattern. I'm going to be knitting. Um, Fiber Seed had a sample in their booth of the more though wrap. One what? word, more though, but more. Yeah. Like, can I have more though? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it called for two skeins of the sprout fingering sock, and this is in Glint. Ooh, that's pretty. And this one is called Extreme Blanket Fort Mode. And that was the color of the sample, right? It is the color of the sample. I sample fell in love so. with it. It was yeah. beautiful, so I got it. So that was my first purchase That's of the gorgeous. day. Gorgeous. Um, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I only have two more purchases. Um, Lindsay and I had gone a couple weeks ago to Pleasureville mm -hmm. Fiber Fair, and we ran across this uh, booth from Morgan Farms, which is here in Frankfurt. <laughs> And I bought two ounces of this black Shetland called Gabby. That's the name of the sheep. So she I bought so. four more ounces today. The same sheep. So oh, she this will be it. my um, tour de fleece mm -hmm. spin. It's the eight ounces that I have. And then, oh, this wasn't from today. This came this week. But it's still exciting. Yeah. A new bag from Fiddle Stick Creations. And it is sea turtles. That's pretty. It's pretty. Nice pink bottom. It's real thick and squishy. So I was excited. All right. And you know, Lindsay has talked me into always buying a um, grab bag. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Especially I bought a yarn bird. Yeah. Yarn birds, grab bag. I, I don't care who they are. I will still pick up a grab bag. <laughs> well, for sure. I, for sure. I just couldn't bring myself to buy oh, yeah. it. I was like, I don't oh. like the other So they didn't have any fingering weight. Grab bags left oh, when I got there. Fingering? No, mine's DK weight. It said on the bag what kind of weight it was. I yes, think. it yeah, did. I didn't know that until after so I grabbed it. So this is I did not know that. spun right round in eggplant. Oh, oh wow. Oh. And That's I have really done awesome. some spun right round before, but not too much. And this is skein cocaine oh royal DK, DK in turnip. I've never owned skein cocaine before. And it's gorgeous. Oh. So I was very excited about my uh, yeah. totally that's, worth it. That's very yeah. nice. And this one skein, the cost of the grab bag. Yeah. Yeah. Those two pair together too. Yeah. I know. They usually, they usually, they usually, usually do. do. Well, so yeah. it's not just that they're giving you two blind yeah. skeins, but they really yeah. are giving you yeah. a now the only thing that was on my list today was the grab bag. Oh yeah. Check. The grab bag is always Trek. on my list. That's, and that's two I have been wanting people so a far. really <laughs> big basket. So from Rebel's Yarn Shop, Whoa. I got my really big basket, and that will hold my crochet blanket project. I like the leather on the handle. I do, too. I do. And I like the way the handle has this, I don't know what to call it, like bracket for yeah. it to move yeah. over. So mm -hmm. uh, basically, the that was all that was on my checklist. That I, I did want to look at sport weight, a, qu a sweater quantity of sport weight. I didn't find any that I liked. And I was refusing to buy single skeins of yarn that were yeah. specific. So I did what I intended so to do. On that? Yes. <laughs> I'm good. Is that all? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, I'll go through my little notiony bits first. I got and the plan. Oh my plan. Okay, so I was looking for yarn for two different tops. The Vibes Tea and the Flood Light. Flood light. <laughs> So I remember in quit. I kept calling it the flood sweater. <laughs> well, it's close enough. So, um, of course, so the Vibes Tea is by Tiff Nealon, and it has a lot of different, it has four different colors in it. And so, you know, that was just totally froze me. Like, oh my God. So these girls helped me pick some out, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, so I think I did okay. Other than that, that was really the only thing I had on my list, other than a grab bag, because I always want one. 
So I got some two lotion bars from Cornbread and Honey, but one's for me, one's for Eliza. One is rose gold, and then the other is coconut lime sorbet. So those are the ones I got. All of her scents, there were a few that were kind of, mm, but a lot of them were really nice. Yeah, they, they were, were nice. really light. Yeah. I think there was only one that I, that, that I did not like. Yeah, there was one that yeah. I was like, mm-mm. It was yeah. like a, a, peach, a peach prosecco, which I was like, I'm going to love this. Yes, yeah. And that's the one I didn't and I was like. like I, I don't love this. Yes. It wasn't very peachy. No, yeah. it needed more peach. And then I also got a pair of the little scissors. They're super cute. Like, I had to figure out how they worked. So this little thing pops up. And there you go. You got your little scissors. I love those. I thought that was a flash oh, drive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I wish I had seen those there. I mean, I looked at a lot of their notions and I missed those. They had a whole wall of notions. Yeah, they yeah. were really adorable. reasonably priced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. wish I'd seen those. And I got little green bats because they're just cute. Why not, right? Um, let's see. So I cut the top of my bag of my mystery. Oh, as far as notion goes. Oh, oh yeah. Too. Did we all uh, get one? Yeah. I think the three of us yeah. got yeah. the bracelets. knit pearl bracelet. <laughs> I and then that. I got a, um, a needle gauge one from the yarn bridge truck. <laughs> so I have no idea what these are going to be. All right. Because I didn't look. You didn't cheat before you. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what is it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's pretty. You are going to be happy. Ooh. Oh, that is. It's so it's Jennifer from The Witcher. Ah. Uh, and LAC maybe? Top sock. Who's that sock? Hang on, I'm going to sprinkle for a second. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Mm. Okay, this is Native Fibers. New to me. Which is awesome. That's oh, gorgeous. Pretty. Wow. That's the perfect green for you. That's a juicy green. Superwash Merino 29 nylon. Oh, it's 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 squidgy. Really yep. And this mm -hmm. is color work by what is that? By Totley Martin yarn? Well, this is 100 percent superwash merino. 437 yards. Yeah. I and think it's that's a really a pretty gray. gray. Yeah. That, that is gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And you also get a little um Oh yeah, pink elephant pink stitch elephant marker. Stitch marker. Every year. So those, that's that's what I got. So surprise me! Yay! That's so that's pretty. exciting. It's delightfully oh, squishy and it smells okay. good. Does it? Yes. Ooh, it does. <laughs> so I did find yarn for one of my shirts. So I was mostly successful, but one is better than none, obviously. Um, so the Vibes T. Let me show you a picture. <laughs> now that it has a big crease on the middle. That's so pretty. So yeah. I thought it was adorable. I have plans to knit that too. I just didn't think I was in the right headspace to pick colors. I need to think uh, about that's it why you, That's because you helped me pick colors. I could colors, probably so. do that out of my And I could uh, probably do it out of my stash if I really thought so about it. So here's color. All of my cover, colors are from Fiber Seed. So here's color one in Wonka. Color two. That's a good name for that. Is this color two? Yes. Yeah. Color two <laughs> is natural. <laughs> Color three is kumquat. I love that color too. And color four, oh, my hands are too small, is this tealy bluey green color. I don't know if you can see the color of it, but it's called Twilight. I so like it. That will be my my colors. And Tasha and Becky help me pick to those see out. That. I passed on, but I think um, it was helpful. They had I a little nothing. Nice. I showed up and I was like, yeah. yes, that's great. You should get that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's I like, think, maybe we yeah. should fix so, the purple. And then we decided that the decided purple was. And I thought it was a little bit easier to choose colors using their mini skeins yes. versus yeah. all their big skeins yeah. on the wall. Oh, yeah. The mini skeins were overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's all I got. She's, I mean, she's got phenomenal yarn, though. So yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. And mine's yeah. all in the sprout sock, which. That's awesome. Yeah. Did I get anything else? Yeah. Probably I don't think so. This is a cup from Wagtail Pottery. They were there. This I did not get this there, but they, they had have that. adorable mm -hmm. coffee mugs there. She's local from Brinkford, so she's my daughter's English or reading teachers. Mm. <laughs> Tasha, what'd you get? <laughs> you know <laughs> what did you yeah, say? No, no, sorry. Sorry. sorry, you did well. What I planned was I said that I probably wanted to get a spindle mm -hmm. and I wanted to get fiber and specifically I was thinking towards the tour de fleece because Ned and I are going to be on Camp Wooligan uh, which is the tour de fleece team that um, 
Tashi from Tangles and Starlight and Christopher from Flannels and Pearls uh, are doing. So, yes. um, where to begin? Where to begin? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I did do a hot lap, and I did for the most part get for the most part, except for I, we walked by. She was the strongest. I no, I wasn't because the second, the first seed was fiber seed. And I held strong, but then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I was the last holdout. The last holdout. Which is weird, because I'm normally not the last holdout. So I was kind of feeling a little like... Yeah, Becky won. Because there was Lauren and her husband right next to Fiber Seed in the Lolo Did It booth. And they had... Yak. Yak. They had yak. I have to find the right bag. If that gives you a hint as to what I did. Yeah. I think that was the first bag. It was. <laughs> Literally did it. Spoiler alert, they got me twice. <laughs> they got me twice. My, my husband's going to see that charge and not think the second one's real, and then I'm going to have to, like, be like, no, no, they're both, they're both me. Yeah. All right, so. I didn't see it on the first go. My bad. So on the first go, they had a section of yak. And yak, mm -hmm. if you have never knit with it or seen it in person, it is very, very soft. It's it is luscious. Very warm. Um, it's got great drape. Like you can see, if you try to hold it as a hank, it's pretty Drinking. flaccid. Um, and it's yeah. usually very gray toned. I'm just spit on my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually gray toned underneath. So I mean, the colors yeah. look Lovely. extra yeah. cool too. They're very. They had some really gorgeous colors. I mm. had to mm. resist. Yeah. Because we both walked in I know. and were like. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were gonna be partners in crime, and do you know we saw yak yeah. in several booths this year. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, rare for us to see yak yeah. yeah. like that. So that yeah. was pretty cool. That had yeah. It. yeah, it's yeah. having a moment. So yeah. I'm here for it. Oh um, yeah, and the Lulu did it. Of course, was exceptional. It was beautiful. So I got that. Oh, beautiful. Um, and then I did go ahead and walk around the whole festival. No, I didn't. <laughs> lies. <laughs> lies. Immediately lies. <laughs> I walked into the next building. I did make it to the next building, and then I found the drop spindle. Oh, it's pretty. It's really pretty. It's He's got a bee on it. I'm gonna do it right side up. Okay. Yeah. It's got a little bee right on top. Oh. It's really cute. Um, it's very lightweight. It is. It's super duper lightweight. So I am looking forward to figuring out how to do that and spinning with that because drafting may be the same principle no matter the method. But aside from that, they're completely different. Yes, drop spinning absolutely. and. Um, wheel spinning so let's see what so you I got, got, you got that and then I went over and from was it Morgan Farms, Morgan Farms. Mm -hmm. I also got some fiber Ooh. let me just get her all out of the bag Oh my lord. She got a lot. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. She gonna need it. I got five. I got five of them. Oh, that's right. Because you have a plan. So this is from a Shetland sheep named Emerald. And I have to imagine that prior to the shearing, Emerald looks like a little teddy bear. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what this feels like is just little teddy bear fur. <laughs> yeah, it's soft. that is some of the best Shetland. It's clean. It's yes. you know, she yeah. She prepped it really well. Um, and it's I love very mom. Very soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. One of the uh braids that I got was from a different sheep. This was from Bo, but they're very similar they in color. They look mm -hmm. almost identical. And yeah. once they Can go through spin the spinning up? process, yeah. they'll be fine. They'll be it fine. will look identical. Yeah. So that is for. Tour de Fleece, and I'll just tell you, so when I'm doing Tour de Fleece, my intention is to spin towards a project, and the project that I'm spinning towards is a, a Jethro cardigan, and you know, this is really just starting to seem like one big fiber seed and Tannis Fiber Arts fan cast. Uh, you're not we're wrong. Getting the <laughs> team. I, I just realized it as I said that. I'm like, name. we've really been saying that name a lot. Yeah. So you've been, <laughs> been talking about. Shh, shh, shh. That's Ollie, the yarn dog. Yes. Ollie wanted to say hi. Um, you were talking about the Jethro Cardigan mm -hmm. by Tannis Lovely. <laughs> when we were looking at patterns last night to like, prep while we after dinner and I was like when did I buy this I have the car the pullover, pullover. 
that is like the death row party. And I'm like, when did I buy this? So we determined I probably bought it like one late night while I was scrolling. And it was probably when you were working on your your cro- your crochet afghan because you were in a crochet frame of mind. Because that's not normally you. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I, the granny square things. Maybe we have yeah. enough the, of her patterns. They've just started multiplying within the library. Uh, that could happen. Like, yeah. geez Louise. Uh, it was I'm really funny. sad that I didn't find yarn for that, but it's okay. I still have several of hers that I haven't knit yet, yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, what can we That's say? Fine. She designs a good sweater. What can, yeah. what can you yeah. say? That, that Jeff is, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. That I do need to knit my, Jeff, my uh, rocket, rocket tee. I love my. Mm-hmm. Well, you're a little busy right now. I am a little busy right now. <laughs> so I'm test knitting. So mm-hmm. I let's see. All right, let's see what else we got. So then after that, I headed over to Bewitch Fibers, oh, yeah. which I've never heard of before. So and no. she had a great boot. She had a cute she had boot. Had a great boot. Yeah, and one she of really those liked in Donna's hands too. She oh, really. No. <laughs> she did. That was awesome. Yeah, it, I, it, it was, was a lot so of nice to come home with me, but I was very like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm glad she was just walking around catching things, keeping them from falling. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She, she did that. She's, it's several boots. She's, 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 she's a hero. She's really. a hero. The hero we deserve. She's the hero we deserve. Heroes don't always wear capes. They knit them instead. They might wear there it. You know. <laughs> it might be a dicky. No, well, it might be. no, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, Bewitched. Oh, it's Bewitched Pigments Fiber Arts. Oh, so, yeah, the booth was super cute. She really leaned into it. Like, she had like oh, little yeah. crystal balls. Yeah, yeah. she's so yeah, really she super friendly, too. Yeah. 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 It was, I was just not, it was not part of my plan. Yes, and I like, that's one that I'm probably going to be like, let me bookmark. I need to, yeah, I need to, yeah, yeah, I need yeah. to yeah. Google and Because I like to buy from places that I've not got yarn mm-hmm. from yeah. before. So she was, that would yeah, count. Yeah, it was but really was like, good. No singles. There was like a purple that looked, oh, I was gosh. on a purpley. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. She I was had like, no. lots of beautiful single, yeah. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. that you would like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be like, that'd be perfect. For she had yarn and all the astrological signs and stuff. It was really pretty. I just quit looking. I just hate it. I colored mine. She was like, I am not even going to look. And my astrological signs always orange and brown, so. Yeah. Always. Mine's usually some sort of blue. Yeah. Mine's Alexander, right? So it's always a hot mess. I think it's like the skein they use to clean up the dye paint. So. Her you booth, alive, man. Her yeah. booth was a great blend of like yarn and fiber. Mm-hmm. She had a lot of uh, varied bases, and that was something we saw at the Kentucky Sheep and Fiber Festival this mm-hmm. year. Was a lot of new bases, new to yeah. us. Like the yeah. yak was really starting to come out. Saw a lot more sport than we have mixes. in years past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good mixes. Yeah. So we went to Bewitch Pigments, and I was thinking uh, that I wanted. Two different colors of fiber so that I could do the granny swear squares that are part of the Jethro cardigan. So this is the main color base that I had. So I grabbed that's so pretty. This is in this is called Blood Moon and it's just very peachy. It's like a beautiful peachy color. Mm-hmm. It's a Romney. It's a totally oh, color. totally good yarn. There's so, spin. And then it I got like the awesome. other mm-hmm. Romney that they had. <gasps> Oh, goodness. And this one's called Labradorite. So I think... I think those would be good together. I all think so. together. Am I in here? We're going to kind of look like this. Are you going to, when you do your granny squares, you're going to do like alternate the colors in your granny square and then yes. reverse them for the next granny square? Okay, yes. that's what I thought. Oh, okay. very cute. Yeah, that'd be pretty. It'll be adorable. So, and you know, I mean, because it's hand spun, that'll kind of take care of the variegation yeah. part. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. And so that should be really, really oh, good. Yeah. So... I had all that, and at this point, obviously, I had checked my boxes on my shopping list. She did the best dun, dun, for her, dun. her list, I think. And then, yeah. it just looks like, well, that and fluff takes up so much. Yeah, it, does, it does look like yeah. a rock. Yeah. yeah, it does. Oh, wait, I forgot. One more thing. <laughs> when I was at Morgan Farms, I got roll eggs. Um, I don't have, and then I forgot that I got them because I got here and I was pulling stuff out of the bag and I was like, oh, look that shit, I got roll eggs. <laughs> um, Whoopsie. They're very I'm pretty. I'm yeah, really, pretty. really excited about them because it's a different, it's a different prep, prep and I don't have like carters or really any way to make roll eggs at home. And most of the Rolex and bats that I saw throughout the festival, they have a lot of like mix in and artsy mm-hmm. stuff in them. And that's 
not what I was looking for. So these right. were pretty much just straight up blended. There's a little bit of whatever, but vegetable matter. Well, like uh, naps, like naps, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but there's yeah. no silk. There's no silk. There's no whatever. So yeah. it's totally... and you don't want to use silk yet because you no. said you were a no. beginner spinner. So yeah, and there was a lot of silk blend fibers. It was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It was everywhere. I'm curious if that is because it is more popular with spinners, or is it because it was like a summer festival. I'm thinking it was summer. Spin with. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So, yeah. but or yeah, there's some really pretty ones. It is really yeah. There was a lot of it, but I had to be like, no, not yet. <laughs> not no, yet. Not yet. Next year. Not Next yet. year. Not Next year no, will be my year. Yet. So, I did get Rolex. Oh, 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 oh. Lindsay found <laughs> me these totally fabulous. <laughs> Made in the 80s Rainbow stitch Bright. markers, which I am the biggest Rainbow Bright fan in the Rainbow whole world. I had a Rainbow Bright doll. I did as well. When I was little. And her little star mm -hmm. friend. Twink. Yep. Twink. Yep. yep. Yeah. I did. I Not had a the, thing for me. I had the bed sheets. Yeah. I had the... I, I could be all their mothers. I had the VHS <laughs> tapes. Yeah, I was that out and strawberry stuff. short tape were my jam. So, like... Yeah. I know, oh, along with He-Man and She-Ra, but... Yes. Yeah, what else? Thundercats. Oh, yeah. I was yes. like a Thundercats fan. Yeah. And then the animated Ghostbusters. So. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Remember the Slimer juice? <coughs> yes, the high C, yes. the green Slimer juice. Oh, gosh, you all. We called it Slimer juice. I didn't have that. No, you yeah. probably did not. <laughs> <laughs> not in Australia. Not in Australia. No. It's like, no. looks no. like the color of poison. It's like this color. Spoiler green. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like it's, 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 Hey, I know what that is. <laughs> you know, that's like my era. Yeah. So. So I got all my fiber, I checked my list, I even got a skein of the yak yarn, because Lauren got me, uh, and that's going to be a hat for my husband. And then we were walking by, Lolo did it, like on the way out, just minding our own business. And I, you can blame Lindsay, she went in there to I do look blame for the I, <laughs> I do blame her. I don't know. What care. did you go in there for? To look for, for a floodlight. Like for young, for the floodlight. So I was looking for a lace, uh, and yeah. so I'm looking for a lace and a fingering mm -hmm. in the same color, but I don't really want... Um, not a fluffy lace. Yeah, I don't know here. Or here. So I would just yeah. want a lace. Okay. But yeah. it turns out that's kind of hard to find nowadays. Yeah. It most of it was mohair. Like mohair. Mm -hmm. And it was it just wasn't what I was looking for. Yeah. And I, I had to look it on my lace yarn. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So Lindsay walked in there and I follow like a shadow and looked down and saw that Why they had fiber. <laughs> and then Lauren's very charming husband let me know that that was all the fiber that they were going to have because they won't shear again until the fall and say less. So and they don't dye the fiber until the fall, like when it's a little Correct. bit slower, yeah. not quite in festival season, yeah. yes. things like that. Yeah. So they have sheared all they're gonna have. They only dye at certain times of year because mm -hmm. yeah, it takes over their dye studio, and then they won't shear again until the fall. So. I scooped it up, but like it's. Which one did you end up with? Which so one? I got the. Guava canes. Guava canes. I don't know, it's yes. gorgeous. You know what I got? It's pretty. <laughs> That's all that matters. It's and targy. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's targy, targy. Yeah. yeah, which is nice. Um, and I mean, all of the thing about Lauren's yarn is. I think it all goes really, really well together. And that was the case yeah. with the fiber, too. I could have bought the entire box okay. of fiber that they yeah. had underneath and every single bit of it would have just Matched. played really mm -hmm. well together. She's just always been really good at that. Mm -hmm. So that was the haul. Yeah. And check, check. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. We did. We yeah. all? I'm yeah. happy with we it. We had a plan, sort of. I mean, yeah. I had a plan to find yarn for sweaters. Only we had one. a framework. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. liked to call it. Not a plan. It was a framework. Framework. Yes. Basket. It was an idea. Maybe some yarn. An idea. Yeah. 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 I like did not intend to buy anyway. a shawl quantity because yeah. I intended to buy a sweater quantity, but I was not, well, I bought the shawl before I even looked anywhere else. <laughs> but I never, I would have bought both. I never found the sweater quantity in a color that right. I really wanted. Yeah. Well, so. I know you were looking at fiber seed for their non super wash. Yes. Like you knit your mm -hmm. Alpine Bloom out of. Yes. Um, but they said they did. They said they didn't. Have they just didn't bring it. They didn't it. have as much to bring as they probably that they thought they should. Oh, okay. The, so you the might be mill that there. they get their non super wash mm -hmm. from is getting like pretty backed up. So yeah. they made their normal yeah. order out for super wash and so forth. So they just he said they have some 
Nancy Brush. So if that's something you're interested in and you go to the website, they do still have Nancy Brush. And it on is there. luscious. Yeah. Not only is it luscious, you did not change skeins. No, right? I did not have to alternate skeins. Their yeah. skeins are pretty heavy. Like yeah. the fingering weight skein that I have is 510 yards. Yeah. Yeah. I so think big, my, that's uh, a big yeah, skein. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's like my uh, non superwash skein. Yeah. Well. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I used two skeins for my Alpine Bloom and I cracked in to the third skein for about 20 yards. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You still got a left then. I know. I know. Yeah. Make a fabulous hat out of it. You I should can do the Alpine Bloom, Bloom hat. Yeah. 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 You should yeah. do the hat out of the Yeah. Because I have leftovers of everything. Yeah. 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 That'd be awesome. Yeah. Which you'll see next time. Cool. Because this is just a haul video. Yeah. yeah. That's correct. All right. Yeah. I think. That's really all I have. I think that's all. Mm-hmm. We went, we saw, we conquered. We were we in and, and out. out. <laughs> we did two laps. We were in and out still in three hours. Yeah. And like at no point were we rushed. Right. Parking was great. So I can't say feel... enough good things about Kentucky Sheep and Fiber. It is, if you're... It's kind of a low-key mm -hmm. fiber festival. So if you are not a big fan of crowds or yeah. like Maryland Sheep and Wool is usually packed, at least it was pre-COVID, you know, your Rhinebecks, they're very large festivals this one is it's a decent sized festival yeah but it's a little more low-key mm -hmm. i think it's casual yeah a little ca more casual like very rarely will you I do stand like in the, line for anything yeah it seemed like there was uh, there was a little bit more this year than last year because yeah. the weather was nicer mm -hmm. the weather was nicer mm -hmm. yeah. so that was nice to see yeah and there's, there's a lot of outside yeah. space so people mill about people yeah. spin people yeah. sit in chairs under so the trees it's a pretty low-key one if you're yeah interested in that like the wool gathering is up in uh, uh, yellow springs that oh, we go to yeah. it's a little more crowded it's a lot more oh, crowded bad. than this one um there's a lot of vendors there but there's also a lot of people there and the parking's a little more sketch this is pretty easy parking i mean you're driving through a field but it's fine mm -hmm. it's not bad and it was dry enough i was shocked yeah yeah but yeah. definitely a fiber fest that you might want to consider yeah. putting on your radar um, we really enjoy it. It's usually I, the third weekend in yeah, May, so weekend the May. weekend after Mother's Day. Yeah. And obviously, no matter what kind of plan you had going in, you're going <laughs> to find what you were looking for, because yeah. no matter how we went at it, all yeah. four of us were pretty successful. Yeah. Like, and, and, happy. Yeah. Yeah. and happy. Yeah, very happy. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a nice little food court over there with food trucks. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's always fun. <laughs> Animals roaming all over the place every time you turn around. Yeah, a couple of the um, the farmers and the 4-H kids were mm -hmm. leading the little sheep and lambs mm -hmm. on it like walks so around the yeah. Um, yeah, it was fun. The whatever fairground. Yeah, <laughs> word. It was nice out today, so that made it yeah. a whole lot better. I mean, yeah. it's still sunny out, surprisingly. Yeah. I know. I'm shocked. Yeah. Okay. I um, think that's it, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Have a great week, guys. Yep. Oh, well, maybe we should start that. Okay. <laughs> start with you. Oh, hi, I'm Anetta. <laughs> I'm Lindsay. I'm Tasha. This is Becky. I'm Becky. Yeah. <laughs> and this is all Too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. No so, harm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll fix it. It's fine. Yes. So, today was the first day of the Kentucky Sheep and Wool Festival, which mm -hmm. is why I'm here. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you just came to see me. <laughs> oh, well. So, we have a couple things to show you all what we found. Some new treasures. Mm -hmm. Tasha, is that falling? It's falling. It's falling! <laughs> oh, my God! 